Today, I'm gonna show you my version of the wet paper towel cleaning method. Um, this is the Epson EcoTank 8550. And all I use is water, napkin, and cleaning solution. And that link is in the bio. The first thing you have to do is the print head has to be free moving. In order for it to be free moving, um, what we do is we do start a print head nozzle check. And once it unlocks and gets to the middle, just unplug it. Once you unplug it, then it'll be unlocked from the docking station and you can move it back and forth. This is also how I do my version of the shoe shine method. And what I do is I still have a wet paper towel and cleaning solution under it. And then I just move the print head back and forth. That's similar to what I'm gonna do now. So all you need is a paper towel. You don't want it wet because it'll damage the print head, but you do want it damp enough to where it'll get the ink to go out. I had clean solution. It just works better for me. This is a little thin. I always keep an extra piece just in case I need to add another piece to it. You just want to make sure that it's thin enough to fit under the print head. And so what you want to do is you're gonna wanna have it right here where the print head docks. You see I got ink on my finger already. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the print head back over until it sits on top of that. and you let it sit, you're gonna let it sit for, you have to let it sit for a while because this is used to unclog the white or any colors. I've unclogged my red, my yellow, my white, so I've unclogged all of them doing this. So you're gonna let it sit. I would say the minimum is 12 hours to overnight, 24 hours. Um, let it sit. Um, you'll know if it's working when you move it, you'll see all kind of ink on it. Um, again, another thing I do is I take that same napkin, I just fold it long ways, put water and clean the solution on it, and I lay it here. And I take my print head and I'll drag it back and forth over the napkin, cleaning it this way. And that gets any, you know, debris or residue that you have under there that may be causing scraping or just giving you those ugly lines as well. So that's simple. Shoes, um, that's what you call a wet paper towel method. So if anybody's wanting to know, that's how you do it. I'll be uploading a syringe method to um, how you use the syringe to go into the lines and push the ink through and pull the ink through if you have a clog as well, but that'll be a separate video. So if you have any questions, let me know.